Hey, Scott from Aristocob.com here. And Seth from TheShrinkingPastor.com. Together, the three of us, we are Markwood Men's Breakfast Club. The three of us, we are. You're one of us. You're one of the three. In case we haven't explained that. There anymore. are lots of you, actually. So you're actually one of... Uh, the three of us are, are three of many, I think. <laughs> we are a legion. Yeah, that's right. Uh, mentioned last week that we're going to do something different, something that we've not done. And, and I, if my parents are watching, I swear I've never done this. And that is, we stopped by a head shop to see if we could find some uh, over-the-counter tobacco that we haven't smoked. And they don't have anything that we wanted anywhere near our face hole. Uh, it looked dry. <laughs> it was poor uh, The layer sampling. of dust that was oh, on top of that yeah, one. We should take a picture of that. That we should have. And, and I would have bought <clears throat> you it. Couldn't, you couldn't actually, even see the sticker. The sticker's on top. You can't even see I, the price. I blew enough of the dust off the seat. It was $45. It's a Stokeby tobacco. It's from 2007. And I even considered negotiating it, and then I realized it was actually cigarette tobacco. Uh -huh. So I put it back on the shelf. And uh, they had forty-five dollar uh, Dr. Grabos <laughs> in the case. Yes, they did. All right. Um, those were those were five bucks at uh, CVS at one time. Yeah. So what we're going to do? Well, how much were the water pipes at is CVS? We're going to smoke some Lane One Q. Now that's not the thing that we haven't done before. And in order to smoke that Lane One Q, we're going to take out of this box something that we haven't taken out of this box in a long time. Three years? At, at least. And, and that is this, uh, this herb grinder. We, we have an herb grinder that uh, you can take various, typically non-tobacco uh, herbs and grind and get Oregano. The, the dust and particles out of Garlic. it. Garlic? Yeah. Whatever, whatever you have. So we, we bought this. Uh, when we were smoking our Cobb cigars. Right? Uh, before that, the Briar cigar right here. Oh, the Briar cigar. Was the first one we got. Right, because we had a, had been given advice that... Uh, that's that's a Cobb cigar. Oh, yes, it is. But it looks like this, but made of Briar. <laughs> We've been given advice that you, you might need to use a grinder on your tobacco. It turns out Chris Morgan was quick to point out that, no, that's, that's <clears> usually something that you would normally have... If you were rubbing it out, if it was a, a flake or something right. that was a cake of some sort you would use this but today we're going to do something different so boy why don't you uh here add a pinch of one cube let's this. look at this biodome that we've created over yeah, look here look at that it's getting all foggy and we don't have our sticker on there yet no, we don't we mm. do that too left that at home all right so here you hold that tight you got it yep and we're going to transfer oh it smells great a wee bit of one cube into this and I don't really expect that this one cue is going to move to the next compartment because it's it's kind of pretty well wet. It's pretty fluffy and kind of damp from all the uh, moisture. But we'll we'll put this in here and we'll we'll grind it around a little bit and see what happens. Now neither of us have done any prep work on this. Nope. It would have been wise for us to go onto YouTube and watch a video or two, but we thought who needs to be wise? Yep. So let's open this up and see if anything has moved down to the lower compartment. Hey. Actually, a little bit has. So I'm, I'm going to keep that up. Maybe, maybe, maybe we add a little bit more. We're, we're doing this so you don't have to. <laughs> but you can if you want to. As I said, neither of us have done this before. And about half of what I put in there has worked its way down. Should oh, be enough. Getting maybe. a little over full now. So, here's what we're going to do. While at the head shop, we purchased some rolling papers. And uh, we are going to roll ourselves a couple cigarettes. Some one Q cigarettes. And we asked the gal there, what is a popular brand of rolling paper? And she said, well, most popular there right now is raw. Okay, then we'll take some raw rolling papers. And she says, what size? <laughs> I have no idea. Regular? Like, Medium? Yeah. I think I got large, if that is such a king size slim. Oh. This is uh, like a lady's cigarette. Oh, it's organic hemp. Oh, is it really? It, it's what it says. Organic hemp. So Authentic forest nature hemp fibers. Unrefined. It's, this says... Oh, this is, yeah, king size. Start sheet. Please remove. Oh, yeah, so don't use that. Okay. Remove it? Oh, this is the start sheet out of the package. Yeah, don't use that. Got one. it. Got it. I mean, you can. That'd be real funny. I Get think. one out of there. This is weird. Yeah, I had a 
I had a big sheet of this inside of a an album one time. I was gonna say this this does that look like people my age know what that album was. So you can see the edge there that has a little bit of adhesive. And we're gonna put a pinch of this tobacco right there. So by there. album you mean MP3? <laughs> I'm talking vinyl here, son. I don't know. That doesn't look like enough. Nope. Yeah, one, one of us needs to do this on camera. Oh, gosh. Uh, is, is it you? I think so. And then we're going we're gonna to mm -hmm. roll it. <laughs> and if I know anything from watching the guys at Moe's rolling burritos... <laughs> actually, what I'm thinking about is the... The fresh um, spring rolls that yeah. we made that one time. Yeah, I was thinking sushi. Okay, we just need to moisten that. I don't think we really need so much. I not really wet it. I mean, I guess moistening is wetting it. Okay. It's, it's got to find the end that it's not falling out so much. This is great. This is so exciting. So I assume that a tighter roll is better. Probably. Yeah. Oh, I got a little extra. I'm tearing the end off. Okay. Yeah, that, that, that seems awfully loose. I think it's just going to go up in flames if I'm not careful. Tap it down, maybe. What are we going to title this? Two, <laughs> two morons. <laughs> Swear it's not weed. Maybe. All right. I'm lighting this. Okay. No, it's just gonna, it's just gonna burn. Yep. That paper just gonna burn like crazy, isn't it? We'll see. <laughs> oh, it smells like burning paper. It tastes like burning paper. <laughs> oh man. I mean, I think I think we did not. Is is there a difference between these rolling papers and cigarette papers? You mean the hemp ones? Yeah. I mean, between... Uh, this this is clearly for weed. What? <sighs> yeah. It's for cigarettes. Believe it or not, don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> so, is there a difference in the consistency of the paper? Um, I need a filter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know how to... Yeah, no doubt I am an amateur. I used to smoke those biddies, you know, those little, I think they were Indian or Pakistani cigarettes that had the uh, clove in them. And, um, uh, but just like my pipe tobacco, I, I didn't inhale them. And I, and I actually like the taste of those. This is, I have found a way to ruin one Q. <laughs> Finally have found it. There is uh, nothing good about this. So one problem is, my lips are sticking to the paper. Oh yeah? Yeah. Maybe that's why uh, Clint Eastwood always had his, had his in his mouth. Could it get it out? Mm-hmm. I mean, it's, it's burning the tobacco. Oh. <laughs> not, in a, <laughs> not in a pleasant way, but... I don't think this is advertiser friendly today. <laughs> I think we've been demonetized. <laughs> yeah. So what what prompted this? <laughs> Who's, whose idea the, was the, this? The fact that we walked in and, and saw that there was nothing good. So speaking of that, I got I got kind of frustrated today. I, I saw an ad for a product that kind of got under my skin. Okay. And so I purchased it. And thought we would talk about this today. Okay. So on that note, I think mine looks a lot better than yours. Hold yours up. Does it? Hold yours up. Get the camera. Yeah, mine's mine's much better. That's the. Uh... Oh, I just <laughs> I just dumped so much of mine out. All right, so we got the thumbnail. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> now I got a foot cramp. All right, so I'm going to smoke. Yeah, I could, I could go ahead and smoke this, but but uh, I suspect that 
that Aaron has given up on us. <laughs> it's gonna come back next week. So I will, I'm gonna put some 1Q in something here. Well, I'll just talk. <laughs> okay, so what I saw was a, an ad, I guess you could call it, for the, uh, the latest iteration of the toy that is found inside of Cracker Jack. Okay. I don't know about you, when I was a kid, this is Cracker Jacks. Cracker Jacks. Get a pack of Cracker Jacks, not Cracker Jack. It was never singular, right? I guess. I mean, I'm so focused here. Uh, I'm so focused on not burning myself. Well, but you're right. I think it was. It probably wasn't Cracker Jacks. You just call them Cracker Jacks. Yeah. Yeah. Right. It's like smoky. It's weird to say. Oh, I'm like gonna go. I'm smoke, gonna go get a Cracker Jack. Like Smoky What's Bear. That? Right. Smoky the Bear. Oh, look at this. And we have a, a, a pouch inside of the bat inside the box. I wonder if that's a um, mandala effect at work. What? Mandela effect, sorry. Mandela effect. You familiar with that? Have we talked about that? What are you getting all fancy on me here, college about that. boy? The Mandela effect? Well, you know, I do have my You're talking, paper I'll... cigarette. <laughs> I'll eat some of this delicious caramel covered popcorn and you talk about the Mandela effect. There's there's a, a popular theory on the internet that uh, either aliens have come and uh, changed things in our history, implanted things into some of our brains, or that there has been some sort of time paradox that has happened. And uh, so we all remember the, Cracker Jacks. And yeah. The name the name stems from the fact that a lot of people remember vividly remember hearing that Nelson Mandela died in prison. Oh. Clearly he did not. Other uh, classic examples is, um, is it Berenstein Bears or Berenstain Bears? Yeah, what about them? How's it pronounced and spelled? I never e pronounced it. E-I-N or A-I-N? No idea. Yeah. Um, so most people, a lot of people swear it's always been E-I-N, e Berenstein Bears. It's not. It's A-I-N. Um, a lot of people swear that uh, uh, Sinbad was in a movie called uh, Shazam. Shazam, right. We talked um, about that before. Yeah. So. All right, so as interesting as this is, it's not. So let's reach in here and pull out our surprise prize. Now, what were these when you were a kid? Cracker Jacks. What was the prize? Cracker Jack. The prize was Cracker Jack? Yeah, because uh, the paper was a tattoo or a sticker. Okay, some, some kind of a tattoo or a sticker um, and it kind of transitioned to that when I was getting a little bit older but still still I would say a kid where um, when I was a child they were decent little toys um, if you were really lucky you got the whistle mm. sometimes you got little toy cars or and things like that bracelets if I ever got a bracelet I give it to my sister but it would would be like a little um, plastic thing that would connect to itself and then it had these little Things that you could stick on, so like little charms that you would put on it. But here's what, here's what set me off this morning. Check out this wonderful prize. What did I get? I get to go to the website and download an app and play a game. Now this one does happen to have a sticker. It says "Step up to the plate" with an unbranded uh, baseball player. Hmm. But the real prize is online. And what kind of frustrates me about this is the fact that with nostalgia, parents and grandparents want their kids to have the same experiences that they had, to share in some of those same memories. And in this case, I get, I get to give something that's going to enable the grandkids to stick their noses in a phone. Where I guess, you know, you could say that the folks at, was it Borden? Who owns, who owns Cracker Jack these days? Frito-Lay. The folks at Frito-Lay are just staying in touch with uh, the kids and that they want electronic toys. And to them, that that's perhaps more memorable, probably going to implant some uh, Cracker Jack game into their mm -hmm. brain, where you have to remember who buys this stuff. 
the kids, by and large, are not purchasing this. It's the adults that are purchasing it. And why do I purchase this for my grandkids? <coughs> because I like them to have that same experience of finding the, the prize inside. I think that Cracker Jack is probably banking on you buying it the first time and the kids being the driving factor to buy it the second time. Now, the fact that there's a sticker in here makes it a little more, more better, right? So it's not a well, complete waste. But and, and... Uh, have you downloaded the app? I've worn that thing out, son. Yeah? Have you... Have you... Because it says there are four that you can unlock. Yeah. Unlock all four ball games. Yeah. Have you? No. Why don't you go ahead and do that while we talk? Well, we should do that and talk about it next week. <laughs> should we? Uh, yeah. I mean, maybe it's a cool app. Maybe it encourages families to right. spend time together. We have two more packages of this. Maybe maybe we'll, maybe we'll, maybe find we'll unlock all least, four. At least three of the four. Yeah. All right. Hey, what did you think of that uh, that cigarette? You it made? was terrible. <laughs> it really was. It was. Uh, it it tasted like one cue. I'll, I'll give it that. But did it really to you? Yeah, I I I was burning tobacco. I smoked enough to burn tobacco. It got to the point where it was getting too hot. Um. I think because it was not tightly packed enough, and I couldn't get over the, I couldn't get over my lips just sticking to the paper. It, it ended up being it's very very thin. It almost felt gummy. I was getting too much paper taste. I didn't like too it. much burning no. paper taste. I'm also down to the last maybe teaspoon, and look, there's actually a peanut in there. Yeah, I had a couple of those. Out of my box? No. Yes. You didn't tell me to save them. There were them. peanuts in the box before that. You didn't, you didn't tell me to save them. All right, uh, well, that was an experience. Best That's... part of Cracker Jacks, I'm telling you. Yeah. Uh, so. Did you ever have the peanut only Cracker Jacks? No. That's just a bag of peanuts. <laughs> That's... Candy peanuts. That's what Planters yeah. is for. They were good. Mm. All right, so I guess I guess Boy is ready to wrap this up. Um, so we'll wrap it up. I mean, I want to, I want to smoke something that's not yeah, wrapped not in that. paper okay. to cleanse my palate. Visit us next week, where I will be smoking this pipe. See ya. Make, make it a great week.